Kristen, it's easy to see how much of the community in Fruitland has dedicated their time and effort towards helping Michael and Michael's family. Since the night Michael went missing, people from all over have come together, whether that be participating in organized search or something as simple as hanging up a flyer within their window. People want to help. Today, I spoke with another business in Fruitland who is looking to make a difference for Michael's family. It has now been almost two weeks since five-year-old Michael Joseph Vaughn went missing near his home on Southwest 9th Street. As time goes on with no sign of Michael, it's easy to get discouraged. However, community members have done just the opposite of that, including local hairstylist Ashley May with the Platinum Studio in Fruitland, who is organizing a fundraiser for Michael's family. This was my first idea. Let's just help them cover bills, expenses, whatever they need in between now because I can't imagine trying to get up and go to work. The fundraiser will include a raffle in which people can win a prize from one of the 50 different businesses participating, or people could come into the Platinum Studio on August 16th and receive a haircut for each donation given. I just feel like I'm the lucky one. I've been able to see just what a big way that our community has stepped up in and said yes without any question. People have bought raffle tickets without even knowing what's in the raffle, you know, or, or just donated money and said we don't need raffle tickets, we just want to get this money into the family's hands and just let them know that they're supported. So far, the raffle has raised a total of $3,500 for Michael's family. Ashley says that all the proceeds from the fundraiser will go directly to the bank account that's been open for them at the Washington Federal in Payette. on Michael's whereabouts. Last we heard from Fruitland Police was on Wednesday at press conference explaining the extensive searches that have been organized in order to find Michael, in addition to Michael's information being submitted to the National Crime Information Center. The city of Fruitland has created a web page for Michael that includes a tip line, an updated photo, and police reports to help provide the community with credible resources to learn more about Michael Vaughn. You can find this link to the information on our website at idahonews.com. Live in the studio, Michaela Elich, CBS2 News.